Hello everybody, I am Benjamin Magnus, and today we're going to be starting a new series playing Victoria 2. Now I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat that I'm very new to Victoria 2, so this is definitely going to be an, kind of an educational series. I'm going to learn the game as I go through, uh, you know, making mistakes and through viewer interaction, and hopefully that'll work well as a, a learning tool for new players to the game as well. So while this first series is definitely going to be kind of a, a slow start learning experience, future series are going to be more standard Let's Plays. And I've played a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to be playing as Sweden. I like the way Sweden starts. They have uh, an okay-sized population, a little bit of a, kind of a decent amount of prestige. They actually have the potential to become a great power pretty early on if you play your cards right. I've never actually been able to do it. You can see I've actually played a little bit of Sweden over here. So why don't we just hop into the game as Sweden and we'll get going. Like I said, this is going to be a very slow start because I'm definitely going to be learning as I go. All right, folks, here we are. This is our state right here of Sweden. It does start with a small little military. We have 30 regiments, I believe it is, or is it 30,000 troops? It is 30,000 troops. So I guess it kind of kind of mimics regiments in EU4, not exactly. Each each regiment's made up of 3,000 men, and I have 10 of them. So there's a bunch of standard infantry. Looks like some guards, which I think is basically like elite infantry, some dragoons, and some hussars. Ooh, hussars, I like that. No artillery, though. And we have a small fleet over here as well. Uh, a couple men of war, some frigates, and some clipper transport ships. Now, I know the first thing to do is going to have to be balancing my budget this is very much a political and economic game so let's look at our production tab here let's see this is this is basically what my country is producing right now we are producing a decent amount of of timber i believe t timber is basically uh raw raw wood cut down trees we are also making lumber lumber is more like planks and stuff more uh, finished wood for construction. Uh, we do have some raw materials. Uh, so we have some coal coming in. We have a little bit of iron coming. Very small amounts, though. We are making glass, but our, our, our artisans are producing that. Artisans are producing paper. We have some fish. We have some farm, uh, some farms, some, for, some grain. Our artisans are also producing furniture. So we don't have... It looks like right now our largest natural resource is definitely the timber. The most beneficial, though, in the long run, might be coal and iron. So we might want to work on that. Uh, no, no projects, no factories. We have no factories whatsoever. So at least we know. Let, let's see. Let's see which map mode I'm looking for. Infrastructure, infrastructure. Yeah, here we go. Infrastructure map mode to show me what's produced where. So there's some iron, a lot of timber and fish and grain all over the way. There's some more iron, a lot of iron up here. Where's the coal? Is that from Stockholm? Yeah, there it is right there. It's kind of behind the army there. So that's where our coal is coming from. So the budget. So let's look at the budget panel. Uh, first things first, tax the shit out of the poor. And lower. we're going to lower the taxes on the, the rich and the middle class because they need that money for building factories, basically. Now, let's see here. We're, we're, we're grossly in the red here massively so we can start with a small tariff I don't I think I know having a high tariff can be really bad for you so let's let's just put it at 10 percent 10 percent uh we're gonna crank up these because uh your education and your administration is very good I'm pretty sure administration is going to directly factor into into like how much taxes you're getting I think and education, uh, having a, a, a literate society is going to be very good. Now, obviously, most of our money is going into the national stockpile, which is not good. So nothing is being spent here. The Navy, let's drag that all the way down as far as it'll let us, because you can clearly see that's about half of it there. Oof. Let's cr crank that all the way down. I don't want to crank it all the way down. That seems like a bad idea. We're still not bringing in very much money, so... I know there's something else I could do to help with that. Let's go to trade. And I know there's a couple things in here that are really expensive, like uh, artillery. So let's 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 turn automation off, and we're gonna buy zero. 
And same with these these clipper transports. We're gonna turn automation off and we're we're gonna confirm that at zero. So that should help with our financial situation. Now we gotta make sure tech. Uh, we are a corporate in uh, corporate industrialism, which means army research is down, navy research is down, but commerce and industry are up. Industry is way high, so we should probably focus on industry right now. Practical steam at mining output, farming output, factory throughput, clean coal, experimental railroad, supply limit. Uh, let's go with clean coal for now. Mining and farming. Yeah, let's do that because that'll, that'll help the coal mine and the iron mine. So let's start with that research-wise. All right, so we're at peace. We have, okay, I think we're okay. It's still way off. Defense spending is at 50%. We crank, save a little bit of money. Let's crank this down to 25%. Basically just need a 20%. We need to be able, we need to be able to not be in the red for a while, but uh, let's unpause the game. Let it tick a couple times. Political map mode. I like political map mode. It's the one I usually stick with. All right, so let's take a we'll take a look at our budget here as as the time sticking by. We can actually crank this up a little bit. Let it go for let it go for a touch. It's not too bad. We have a total income of it's it's going up. Well, it's fluctuating. Yesterday we earned so we are earning some pounds. I believe that's the currency, pounds and sterling. I believe that's the, the global currency we're using, that the game uses, just to make things simple. Hmm. Alright, so we have some money coming in, that's good. We definitely want to make sure that our income is is decent, that we're in the black here. Should probably, we could probably actually crank this up a couple, couple more percentage points, there we go. Alright, so we have some money. Right now, okay, yeah, right, top five, is that say, top five production goods are timber, glass, fish, grain, and lumber. Huh. So I need to, what I'm, what I'm going to want to do is, because we're kind of building, going to be building our, you know, our industrialization, our factories from scratch. Where would you do that? Production? They want to build a furniture factory. It's Feyland. At a cost of 6,400 pounds. So they want to build this. They want to build furniture. Furniture is going to require... Hmm. I know there's... Uh, where, where, where do I want to go? If we go... Furniture factory... Production. Okay, I think if we look in here and look for furniture factory, it'll show us exactly what. All right, so furniture factory uh, is made using furniture is made using lumber. It's necessary for every home and thus available to them. So it would require daily input of nineteen point eight lumber and nineteen point eight timber. And they want to build it in Svealand. Where's Svealand? I have no idea. I'm not very up to date on Swedish provinces. Although Hammerfest is a fucking awesome name. Is that the name of the larger provinces? Let's see here. Uh, infrastructure. Diplo region. Region. Scotland. So, okay, so they want to build it in this region. And if we go here, do we have... We do have already supply of timber in this region, so that might not be a terrible idea. You know, I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Age of liberalism. 
While Napoleon and his armies have been defeated, the fundamental idea of the French Revolution has not been in Germany. The old crowns of the Holy Roman Empire have been wrought to naught, and the feudal contracts of the old replaced by Napoleonic civil codes. Everywhere in Europe, coffeehouses and universities, the ideas of liberalism, political reform, freedom of speech, and the rights of the people, rather than of monarchs, proving uh, do 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 again. Old proverbs not stopping an idea of one time. Minorities long yoked under crowns and scepters are waking up to the relative the fate that they make and far across the oceans, which is Africa and Asia beckon. All right, so Sweden gets liberal agitation until the end of the game, giving us the follow effects: uh, population consci uh, consciousness plus zero point oh five. Militancy of the non-colonials, so that's basically the people at home, 0.02. All pops in Sweden where it's not a colonial state have become 5% more liberal and gain conscientiousness. Hmm. Well, it's not like it's a decision, it's just telling me what's happening, so we're going to go with that. I don't exactly know what all this stuff is. This is militancy, I believe. Uh, select all. Right. Average conscientiousness of the population is 3.05. We estimate that it will change by 0.056 during the next month. So it's going up. So they're becoming more conscious of what's going on around them. Militancy. Oh, I forgot about something. Uh, we need to... We can give our, 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 our provinces, like, focuses. And right now we're going to focus on clergy. And we're going to go down here, and we're going to focus... Actually, what we should do is population. So, and we'll go to uh, this one, and we'll go... The two much two largest populations, we're going to encourage clergy, because I know you... Ten, I think you get a bonus of some sort to research. I think you get a bonus to research. 2% is optimal, okay. Alright, okay, okay. All right, so we have a little bit of income. They want to build a furniture factory, and we have the the raw resources in our, you know, our home areas to do that. So that might not be a bad idea. It would require it would bankrupt us, but why don't we? You know what? Let's not do that just yet. New daily has begun circulating. The Herald, carrying high hitting political commentary, literary critique. Local news has quickly developed in a flagship for local liberal politics. I hope I'm not in the obituaries. Lil Hammer, Hammerfest, and Hammerfest all get liberal agitation and local consciousness up. Those are all the northern regions. Or we can censor the paper and all populations become 10% more liberal and gave gain consciousness. Consciousness. Consciousness? I'm thinking... Consciousness in my head. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, I feel like being more liberal. Everybody becomes more liberal, and I feel like being more liberal in Sweden is the way to go. Well, let's just go with. I hope I'm not in the obituaries. As much as I want to build the furniture factory right now, I think it would be an economic folly. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to turn a profit with it this early on in the game. Early on in the game, I know that the artisans are actually more efficient. Ooh, that's a hell of a Prussian Navy. Imperial Black Fleet. Oh, Imperial Black Sea Fleet. Black Fleet sounds cooler, though. Hmm. Let's just crank this up to speed 5 for a little while. We're going to want to get the, these texts going. What do I got here? The Swedish uh, Evening Newspaper first appeared on Monday, December 6, 1830. Uh, six years ago. Promoting freedom of speech, free trade, lower import duty, and de uh, democratic reforms. Okay, okay, well. All pops in Sweden, the percentage of people that support liberal gain consciousness. I feel like consciousness is a good thing. I don't know. I, I feel like it, it is a good thing, but I feel like the game is trying to tell me that it's a bad thing. Fiery Sermon. Let it be known those who argue the cause of the revolution argue against the cause of design of Almighty God himself. For he, in his wisdom, 
has made kingdoms on earth and set kings to rule over them. A local preacher in Kalmar held a fiery sermon condemning several liberal causes. He sounds like a reasonable man. Liberal habitation will be removed in Kalmar. Okay. Hmm. Tech. Tech. I'm wondering if this is the way to go with tech. Prestige. Oh, okay. We can't. This is what I was. I was thinking in my head would be good, but I'm not. It's not possible for me to do this till 1840 because that'll give me more research points. I think that's the the way to go right now. Is getting as much research points as I can. See, this is why this series I don't think is going to be a daily one because what I need to do, I really need to be able to record it and then let it marinate for a day or two and then read the comments because I think that's going to be a great way of learning how to play this game is learning with the viewers and a small a, a British ship was intercepted by four Prussian ships it looks like. Battle of Southern Baltic Sea. The Asia Thalia is getting hit. Hmm. Doesn't look like she's doing too well. I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at other than the fact that they have no commander and it looks like no morale. That's a Prussian fleet. Was that a Russian? The other one, was that? Was I looking at a Russian fleet before? Oh, that's cute. Them running away from each other. Those little tiny ships. So my fleet's suffering attrition. Does that mean my ships are... Yes, my ships are decaying in port. I wonder what they'll locate down to. I honestly have no idea. Hmm. Agitation dies down. The sound of the rain falling in the deserted square is deafening. A tattered pamphlet thrown in the gutter. The ink running out across the uh, paper in soft bluish blooms. The only thing that still serves proof that the Ume was up until just recently a hotbed of liberal agitation. So the liberal agitation that we got is now ceasing to die down. I'm looking for my bottle of water. Here it is. Liberal Students Association. The use of Sweden Unite in our common demand for the restoration of ancient freedoms to make in Sweden a second Greece. Okay. Inspired by ancient romantic ideas of freedom in the state, to inform by radical youth of the state university, a manifesto has been published calling for a voting reform and a revival of what is referred to as those ancient and traditional liberties of Sweden. The association is quickly becoming something of a mass movement on the campus. This is a brave new... Uh, okay. Okay, okay, we have to allow... They must be allowed to express their opinions. Any and all liberal habitation... Svealand, so in that province. All liberal habitation... Giving the following effects of more consciousness. Or couldn't the principal do something about this nonsense? All populations gain consciousness. Oh, okay, I want to avoid militancy, so we'll go with this one. I don't want militancy. Especially... In my second most populous province, which I believe is this one right here. I don't really... You can kind of see the borders. Death of the King, a horse voice cries. The streets in Lillehammer come alive. Local injustice or perce uh, perception of one. I mean, the unwashed masses into rebellion against our rule. The revolt is still small enough for its future course has not been set in stone. And leniency might avert it. We can send in the troops. Everybody in Lillehammer gains militancy and consciousness. Norwegian artisans in Lillehammer... Oh, so 10% so of the Norwegian artisans in Lillehammer will die. Or we can negotiate with them and they gain consciousness. I guess we'll negotiate with them. I mean, that sounds reasonable to me. I really want this clean coal. I feel like increasing our production of coal and iron is definitely going to be good for the country. I wonder if... Uh, let's check on something. Uh, okay, so one, basically nobody's invested anything. Somebody invested a tenth of a pound. All right, the same thing. Good riddance. Liberal irritation has been removed from Uppsala. Is it steel? Steel. So our artisans are turning our, probably our coal and our iron into steel. The new upper house has been assembled. Basically not much has changed.
Hmm. So, Svalin, what can we, can we can we afford any of these right now? I mean, we have 7,500 pounds. I mean, we, like, we could... Oof. Like, we're producing 2.5 coal. That would use 11.88. No. That would use even more. We don't have any sulfur. A lumber mill? I just clicked on that having absolutely no idea what it said just because it was in my way. Oh, that's too expensive, though. That's, uh, 11... Almost 10, 10 and a half, 11,000. Hmm. Paper fat paper mill we could do that's even more expensive. Ooh, I guess I oof. Cement factory is the cheapest thing. Ooh, I do not have the money for that. So let's just crank this back up to speed five, I guess. Agitation suppressed. So we're gonna lose liberal agitation agitation in the capital of Stockholm. See, I know a little bit about the game. Oh shit, Jacob, uh, Jacobin uprising. Sweden are famed. Channel erupts in an open rebellion, crying out for liberty, justice, and equality. The citizens take the streets. Blast. All pops in Christian Christiania gain four militancy. Let's uh, let's take a look at our population. That was where. I'm looking for it. There it is. So all of these people just gained some militancy. They're mostly just farmers, though. They're all Norwegian. Mostly conservative. conservative. And they all just became a little bit more militant. They all have jobs. They're mostly farmers. And there's a lot of information here. Jesus Christ. Ooh, what is this? I just noticed a green glowing thing. We can abandon Finland. Many decades have passed since the defeat of the Swedish armies in the Finnish war and the passing of the country's eastern half uh, to captivity under the Russian eagle. All the reports from Finland speak of widespread discontent with Russian rule. Uh, very few seem yearn for reunification of, with Sweden, said preferring to seek direct Finnish independence and autonomy. Say it's time for us to abandon all thought of a Swedish return. So, uh, do, 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 if we do this, if we d uh, choose to abandon Sweden, we will lose cores on northern Finland and southern Finland, but we'll gain 10.5 prestige, and everybody in Sweden will become less militant. Alright, I think we can go with that. We chose to abandon Finland. So that lost us some cores over here. Fiery sermon again, more liberal agitation. So we lost the cores up there in Finland, northern and southern Finland. We no longer claim them as our own. But, 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 that gave, gave, gave us prestige, which we desperately need. And right now we have an industrial score of zero. Because we have no factories. But like I said, it's it, 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 I, I feel like it would be folly to build a factory when it would just be sitting there costing me money. And what's going on down here? Military... France and Russia are allies. King, we have been informed that the Russian Empire removed Krakow from the sphere of influence of Austria. Okay. It's down here somewhere. I'm kind of just waiting on... I feel like I, I need to wait on tech for a little while. I think maybe that's what's going to really get me... Get me in the game as a few good techs that'll really increase the amount of raw resources I'm, I'm cranking out. So I feel like building a... I really feel like building a factory this early on is folly for me. I don't think it's going to get me what I want. And at least we're actually almost done with clean coal here. Coal and iron, because it's going to increase my coal and iron that I'm getting, which is awesome. Alright, this is the same insurrection before. We're going to negotiate with the leaders. So we want to avoid militancy. 
everybody's more conscious. So we have, it's going up. All right, clean coal, there we go. Coal production output, sulfur production output, iron production output, coal mine size, sulfur mine size, iron mine size. Good. So we need to tech. Prestige gain. Or we can keep going in here. Hmm. Supply limit. Mining output and farming output. Let's go for that. Now that should have increased the output of my... Of my mines. Let's uh, look at production. It did. There is more coal and more iron coming out now. I think it was 2.4 and like 4.6 before. Hmm. What I'm kind of worried about is this. We produced 81.9 timber each day. If I built that factory... It's a furniture factory. We just want to look at this right here. Furniture. Do, 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 do. Where is it? There it is. It doesn't use that much. Hmm. Vegetation dies down. Okay. So why don't we... We gotta do it. We, we gotta get do it. We gotta build factories eventually. So why don't we do it? Let's uh, let's invest in this factory. We're gonna basically gonna subsidize its its construction. We're gonna use most of our treasury. All right, they're buying the stuff they need. Machine parts. They bought they bought the cement and the iron. And yep, they're buying that fiery sermon. We're going to need to give them a little bit more. Oh. Militancy. We don't want We don't want militancy. Okay, we need to give them a little bit more to finish this off. Alright, there we go. No, oh, now they want to build a glass factory. Okay, so this is what they're building. They're building a furniture factory. It's going to be done in two years. And they're building it exactly where? Is that... Let's look. I, I don't see it on the map anywhere. Svaland. I guess it's just going to be here somewhere. I don't know exactly where. I don't know if it's actually going to... It should show up on the map somewhere, right? I guess we'll figure it out sooner, sooner or later. Okay, and with the start of construction of our first factory, it's two years away. I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Now, I'm sure that there's a lot of information that I'm either unaware of or I'm missing. Uh, and that's where I'm going to kind of rely on you guys. A lot of my viewers said that they wanted me to start, just start up the series and learn as I go and they would help me. So uh, what, I, uh, what I'm asking you guys to do is just leave any, uh, any information you think I should know, any tips or tricks in the comments right down below. And I'm going to let this episode marinate online for a day or two and then I'll make another episode and I'll be able to implement all of those ideas that you guys gave me. So, everybody, if you've enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Victoria 2, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.